CBS 21 Celebrating Central PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. We are celebrating summer and summer in Central PA specifically. The Commonwealth full of rich history and part of that history is the Battle of Gettysburg. It is the 160th anniversary and reenactments and events happening all weekend in Adams County and that is where we find Chief Meteorologist Tom Russell not in costume. <laughs> you know, they just wrapped up the reenactment of day one, and just moments ago, the field behind me here was active with uh, cannon fire and artillery fire. I want to introduce you to one of the reenactors who just met Randall from northern Pennsylvania. How long have you been doing the reenactment? Uh, 25 years. Wow, yeah. incredible. And you are representing the Union? Yes, with the 4th U.S. Light Artillery. Awesome. So I'm the weather guy. Imagine fighting in this. Tell us about what you're wearing. Well, this is an exact reproduction of what the artillery wore. Uh, it's it's wool. Uh, wool is a good all-weather fabric. Yeah, but it's the middle of summer. Well, if you sweat, it kind of condenses inside. No kidding. And cools a bit. It's a, also good in the rain. You've yeah. been doing this 25 years, you told me. Yeah. Why do you do it? Why do you love it? Well, I, I enjoy it, but I, I joined because my uh, great-great-grandfather was uh, in the Civil War in the 141st Infantry. And you yeah. said you actually tracked him to the peach tree or peach orchard. Yeah, he was wounded uh, in the peach orchard. Uh, he, he received a mini ball through the throat. It came out through the jawbone. Uh, the medic refused to treat him, uh, and he laid there for three days. Uh, he refused to treat because they had he, they considered too far gone. They couldn't waste wow. their supplies or their time. They had too many other people to attend to. And the Christian Commission came and got him. The at Christian end of Commission the uh, came along and took uh, the last letters to family for the soldiers that weren't, couldn't write or weren't able to write. Gave them drinks, prayed with them, uh, and they. After he uh, lived for three days there, why, why, and they hold him into the field hospital. Wow. Yeah. Think about this. Actual yeah. living history, your family tied to the Battle of Gettysburg. So uh, weather-wise, you uh, had a couple of showers today, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Real it, light. Not it too was, bad. Uh, it was nice, really. Thank you, Randall, so yeah. much. It was enjoy, uh, enjoy talking to you and meeting Same you. Same here. Thank you so much. Yeah. These are the kind of folks that are making this historic reenactment happen. Let's take a look at the radar. We did have a couple of showers, honestly, just a half hour ago, but they have moved on. Now we got the warm sunshine. Uh, let's go ahead and show you this weekend because the heat and humidity are back. Maybe not what Randall wants to hear this weekend. Overnight lows tonight are going to be in the upper 60s, right around 70. Then tomorrow, just a stray shower or thunderstorm, 86. Better chance of rain, maybe even some severe weather as we get into Sunday. More more on that coming up with the seven day in just a few minutes. We are live in Gettysburg tonight. Jasmine, back inside to you. I still think you should try on a costume, Tom. <laughs> still ahead, we're continuing to celebrate Central PA with our Tom Russell live in Gettysburg. Yeah, and check it out. They're doing the reenactment here at Gettysburg this weekend. I'm with the uh, guys from the Tennessee Battery. Guys, what do you say if we're heading into battle? Huzzah! Huzzah! We are ready. We got your forecast next. Stay with us. CBS 21 Celebrating Central PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. Gettysburg is celebrating a milestone. It's been 160 years since the Battle of Gettysburg and events and reenactments are going on to show Pennsylvania's past all weekend. So we're celebrating Central PA and what makes us proudly Pennsylvanian. And Tom Russell is live in Gettysburg right now. A whole crew of people there. Yeah, Jasmine, we just wrapped up the actual reenactment here across this amazing field. The folks are getting uh, kind of back to their camps. For some reason, this regiment got left behind, is that right, or this battery? <laughs> yeah, our horses went off, went off and left. Just have to track them down the field. These guys are from Tennessee. So my first question then was Tennessee Union or Confederate? There was a lot of East Tennessee Unionists. You have a lot more mountainous terrain there and just kind of dissenters from what was stereotypically going on in the Confederacy. Um, so Tennessee was a state divided. We hear brother against brother, family yeah. against family all the time, and there's no truer place for it. That was it. Uh, so you guys are actually from Tennessee. You're from North Georgia, you said, right? Yes, sir. Knoxville. So why do you guys do it? Why do you love it? Oh, uh, it's just fun camaraderie. Everybody has their, their thing they love to do for recreation, and for us it's to come out here and sweat with your friends <laughs> and slip discs and get hernias. Um, that sounds like fun. Tell me about the artillery here. You guys were saying that uh, a lot of people still collect these cannons. 
Oh yeah, there's still a, a huge market for them. Um, whether you're talking about historic, just prominence trying to trying to keep something from the past alive, or whether you're talking about modern day, um, we uh, put on a thousand yard artillery shoot wow. every year, so people come not in a scrap of uniform just for <laughs> recreation. To you guys see your dad actually thing. builds these? Is that right? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, that's is he coming to get his piece of artillery here? He is. He is. <laughs> period well, correct. So everything down to the nuts, the bolts, um, wheels, and everything is is period correct to it, to the exact dimensions in the artillery manuals no from kidding. the Civil War. It really um, is a piece of art, isn't it? It is a very labor-intensive piece of art. That is cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for what you guys do, and thanks for being here in Gettysburg. Have you been to Gettysburg before? Yes, I have a few years ago. Good. All right, so these are the horses that are going to drag uh, this back to camp? Yes. Okay. All right, we'll try to be here. We're going to talk weather here real quick. Uh, I went and uh, double-checked the weather actually during Gettysburg in 1863. So let me start you there because uh, imagine, you know, the heat, the humidity that we have, but you're in wool. You're in these long wool pants. You're in the wool jackets, and you're trying to fight. So on July 1st, the temperature at 2 o'clock was 76 degrees. It was cloudy. On the 2nd, it was 81 and partly cloudy, but by the 3rd, by the time of Pickett's Charge in the afternoon on July 3rd, 87 degrees. And the uh, weather was actually recorded by a professor at Pennsylvania College, which is now known as Gettysburg College. So very interesting weather stuff, too, really factored into the battle, because by the 4th, it was raining and it was tough for everybody to just to get their artillery out of here. All right, let's go ahead and show you. We might be in the way here, uh, Dave, as far as these horses go. Let's move over. Show you the uh, smoke clearing out this weekend. That's the big story uh, for sure. So it's going to be uh, a nicer as the weekend goes as far as the smoke goes. Let me check that pollen count. It is sponsored by the HB Home Service Team. And you probably noticed that the uh, rain is causing the grass to grow. So the grass, uh, grass pollen is high once again. Let's jump over to the radar because we did dodge a few light rain showers as we were working our way through the uh, through the reenactment just about an hour ago. But uh, right now, just a few spotty showers. As you see here, our next weather maker brings in some rain and eventually some stronger storms. So let's show it to you. Tomorrow, late in the day, a few pop-up thunderstorms. I don't think we see much rain tomorrow. Better chance of rain on Sunday, but that also means the better chance of severe weather. So definitely keep an eye to the sky on Sunday. So tonight, we'll keep it warm and humid. Overnight lows will be in the upper 60s to right around 70. Here's your seven-day forecast. We are on the move, by the way. 86 tomorrow with some afternoon storms, better chance of showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. Hot and steamy next week. Look at this, 88 on Monday, 4th of July. We are into the 90s and we stay there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No real relief until we get into uh, Friday. And uh, we want to bring you back live and show you that piece of artillery, how they moved it back then. You needed horses, of course, to move that. And you see how that works out. So super nice, guys. It's amazing how many people come from all over the country to be part of this reenactment. So they're wrapped up for the day. They're gonna actually have a Union camp over here, and then they have the Confederate camp, and you see it maybe in the distance there, and they'll do it again tomorrow afternoon and Sunday afternoon. So today was a reenactment of day one at the Battle of Gettysburg, then day two and day three, including Pickett's Charge on Sunday. So it's worth coming down. It's really, really uh, neat stuff to see in person. So Jasmine, the horse is gone. The battlefield is empty. We send it back to you. CBS 21 Celebrating Central PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. All summer long, we're celebrating Central PA, the places, the people that make us proudly Pennsylvanian. And part of the rich history we have is the Battle of Gettysburg. It is the 160th anniversary, and that is where we find Chief Meteorologist Tom Russell. You made it to the camp. Well, Jasmine, you had the question, do those folks that do the reenactment, do they actually stay here and live here? They do, just like they did back in the uh, 1800s, 1863, as a matter of fact. You can see folks with the fire going there, and here's the camp all set up. And I just uh, met JR. You said from Salt Lake City, is that right? Yeah, we flew in yesterday from Salt Lake City on the Red Eye, and uh, we're here for the 160th anniversary. This is probably my fifth or sixth Gettysburg. That's so cool that you yeah. do this. Why do you love doing the reenactment stuff? Um, I think the history is fascinating. Um, I am a portraying a woman soldier and I've been doing it for uh, over 10 years now. now. You're actually working on a documentary about women soldiers. There was actually women who fought on the battlefield? There were real women who fought in this battle um, at Antietam uh, really? at a bunch of different uh, uh, engagements throughout the Civil War. Uh, our project is called Reenactress, so it, it commemorates the women who really fought 
and the reenactors who portray them today. That's amazing. Now, it must have been a very small percentage of women on the battlefield. Right? It would have been a very small percentage, but we do have documentation to support about 250 cases. Wow. And uh, all Union and Confederate, uh, black and white. No kidding. Yeah. That's so there's a fascinating story. There's some really great stories out there, and we want to make sure that people understand that it wasn't just generals, it was regular folks that this impacted. And now both men and women. That is a fantastic story. Let's go ahead and talk weather here real quick. Did you run into some showers today, Jalen? Uh, we had a little bit of rain, <laughs> but it cleared bad. up. We've had I some know. smoke, right? So yeah. the sky is suddenly perfect Thank and Thank you beautiful. for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah, the, the rain showers are helping, and so will a wind shift over the weekend. Let's show you that weekend. Tonight we keep it warm and humid. We're feeling that here as we stand outside in the sunshine. 68 tonight, uh, a little hotter tomorrow, 86 with just a stray afternoon storm. Better chance of rain on Sunday. Some showers and storms, maybe even some strong thunderstorms on Sunday. So keep that in mind. It was a pleasure to meet you and uh, welcome back to Gettysburg. Thank you so much. We'll be out here rain or shine. So yeah, come please come out good and point. see us uh, on, the, on the field. Awesome. Back inside of you, Jasmine. All right. Really good story, Tom. Thanks for sharing, everyone. CBS 21 Celebrating Central PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. It's been 160 years since the Battle of Gettysburg, but the history lives on the battlefield in Adams County. Tonight, we're celebrating Central PA. Tom Russell live in the community with a look at the events happening this weekend. What are you cooking tonight? <laughs> I was just here with Courtney and Sarah. We were talking about how important it is to keep the history alive, and it takes passion and folks like these ladies uh, to do that. So tell us, we're kind of behind the scenes here. What was your role as far as the Battle of Gettysburg? So, well, originally I wasn't here. <laughs> as far as this reenactment, we cleared that up. <laughs> I am the commissioner for the Federal Volunteer Brigade's Sanitary Commission. Basically, what we're trying to do is give spectators the opportunity to come in and see a wide variety of Victorian life cooking, quilting, sewing, um, all kinds of stuff. So but, we get the spectators in and get them excited. But it was also very uh, important to support the soldiers, right? The absolutely, logistics, right? absolutely. So the Sanitary Commission was a huge fundraising arm. They were bringing in a lot of money. It was sort of the boots on the ground, civilian effort to support the Union Army. So they were raising money. They were bringing in goods and services, sending those out to the Union uh, Army. So keeping much things moving. going yep. on here. Now, what are you cooking here, by the way? Uh, really well, good. that's bacon. Yes. We've got bread. Broccoli and Ooh, bacon and garlic that and looks there's, healthy. you know, meatloaf on the fire. <laughs> All right, so. now you tell me your specialty was a, a, I'm a fashion, fashion historian. historian. Yes. All right, I want you to meet Sarah because, Sarah, you were fascinated with the fashion of the day or at an early yes. age. Yes, yeah, I fell in love with the, the style from an early age. I made my first dress in middle school and... Wow. Honestly, I, I haven't gone back since. I've been. You actually make these clothes? <laughs> yep, Courtney and I both do. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is fascinating. So, what was it? You reading in a history book or your parents were into it? Or? Honestly, it's it's just me and my family. They might think I'm a little crazy, <laughs> but they're very supportive and we appreciate we that. Like her crazy. Yes. Her crazy is good. Hey, real quick, right over there, that sewing machine, you actually work that thing? That's a Absolutely. That's a Singer Model 12. Um, they were first uh, released by Singer in 1863. Wow. Not super available except to the rich. However, it is kind of where it started. And it was state of the art in 1863. It, yeah, it was. Wow. Absolutely. So cool. All right, ladies, you get to help me with the weather here real quick. I went Ooh. back, did my research. Take a look at the weather in Gettysburg, 1863. So what do you think it was? First day. Uh, 87 degrees. That was day three. Oh. What do you think? 84. It was a little cooler than that. 76 and cloudy. So kind of like oh, today a little bit. Nice. And then Saturday into the 80s and by day three, by Pickett's Charge in the afternoon of Sunday, or uh, day three, I should say, uh, 87 degrees. So Fantastic. You were right about the 87. Yeah, there there go. you go. All right, let's talk about your uh, pollen count. It is sponsored by the HB Home Service team. I want to show you that because of the rain we've had, the grass pollen is on the rise. Did they have allergies back in the 1800s? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, very good point. Very good point. All right, there's your pollen count. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, the radar. We've had a couple of showers this afternoon that we were uh, seeing. Did not, nothing too heavy there, right? Did not it? too bad. It, enough to cool it down a little bit. That and it actually, it, nice. did, it actually cleared yes. the skies out a little bit, which is great. Uh, so let's talk about our next weather maker. We'll have a chance uh, for a few spotty afternoon thunderstorms tomorrow. The better chance of rain is going to come Sunday. So I want you guys to be prepared here. I know you got a lot of tents set up, but we could have some. <laughs>
some strong storms by <laughs> Sunday afternoon. So that's the, the heads up for Sunday. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, it's going to be warm and humid tonight. The overnight low in the upper 60s. You guys stay in here in one of these tents? Yeah, Ooh. that one's mine. And that that one's oh, Sarah's. really? Yeah. Oh, we got to show off that. Let's walk over here. Let's show everybody the seven day. You show me your tents here real quick. As we get into tomorrow, 86. Show, show all right, Sarah's is which one? This one? All right, we're walking over here. Sunday is our better chance of storms. That's why we have a CBS 21 weather watch day. And then the heat is on next week. We're talking upper 80s, then 90s by the 4th of July. And we are going to be big time heat uh, through the week. It won't cool off until late next week. We are back live. And you're looking at Sarah's digs. Is that right? It is. Home sweet home for the uh, whole reenactment. It actually looks pretty comfortable. You bought everything. It honestly is. It was very cozy. You right. know, got the candles lit. Cover up with your quilt. What I want to see is you in that dress get past that door. <laughs> hey, on, on, it it was squishes. squishes. She there did it. Hey, there you go. Very good. It was a pleasure good to meet job. you guys. Thanks Thank for being here. Thank you so much. This was awesome. Come on out. Hey, awesome they're, they're local from Carlisle and stuff. So, All right, back inside of you, Jasmine. You want to wear this fashion? What do you think on TV? Oh, I think she looks great. I don't know if I could pull <laughs> that off. CBS 21 Celebrating Central PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. All summer we're celebrating Central PA with people, places and faces that make us proudly Pennsylvanian. One of those places is Gettysburg and its rich history. This weekend marks the 160th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg and that is where we find Tom Russell tonight showing us so many things and telling us so many great stories, Tom. Uh. This has been such a joy to meet these folks from not just here in Central PA, but all over the country. I want to introduce you to Dan from San Antonio, is that right? San Antonio, Texas, yes. Well, welcome to uh, Gettysburg. You're no slouch. You've done this before. Tell us about where you stand in the whole reenactment setup. Uh, well, I've been doing this about 30 years, wow. uh, 25 of those years. I've owned my own cannon. This is the cannon? Uh, this is the cannon that I have acquired. It's a replica gun, okay. but it was actually... Uh, designed exactly like an original gun was. So we live fire this gun on a regular basis. So we can send a projectile two miles with this gun. Two miles? Two miles. I was fascinated coming here and hearing the booms, that just constant boom, I mean. So it was, it's a line of sight weapon, so it's just like a rifle. There's a rear sight and a front sight. No and kidding. What you aim at is what you hit. How accurate is it? Uh, it's pretty accurate. In that uh, two mile range? Uh, with two mile range is maximum range, right. uh, but within a mile you get uh, pretty accurate. And uh, what size uh, piece of uh, weapon? You would fire a projectile, which weighs about 10 pounds. Wow. Uh, those uh, ammunitions can be a solid shot for hitting hard fortifications. You have case shot, which would fly through the air and a fuse would burn down and it would explode over the target. Wow. Uh, then you had impact rounds, a shell, which would hit and upon impact it would explode. And then you had canister shot, which is like turning it into a big shotgun. Wow. So it would fire a basically a tin can full of 72 iron ball uh, at yeah, the enemy. Just, like so a single cannon could be 72 soldiers firing rifles. So when I walked up here, actually literally cleaning, that's what you were doing? Uh, yes, so the weekend that we're doing here, we're doing, uh, it's just a brush. Uh, we're doing gun maintenance oh. uh, as part of our demonstration here. Oh, that's a good so idea. we're not going out and utilizing the gun on the field. So what we're doing is we're taking the gun apart into its respective pieces. We're cleaning it up, and we would be doing the maintenance as the soldiers did during the Civil War. The barrel is going to be scraped down. We'll repaint it. Wow. Uh, we'll do any maintenance, clean out the barrel that is necessary. The carriages, like you saw, I was uh, just cleaning it off with You're clean water. Guy. I'm a busy Gee. guy. All right, let's uh, talk about it. Tomorrow weather. we'll paint it. And well, then on uh, Sunday, we're going to put the gun back together. Awesome. Uh, real quick, let's show you the uh, radar because we had a couple of showers that did pass through. It's actually a little cooler, isn't it, Dan? I, nice breeze. Yeah, we're in the shade. Really uh, perfect day for coming out and seeing what we're doing out here. All right, and you got all weekend to do that. So let's look at your weekend forecast 68 for tonight. And then as we get into tomorrow, 86. Just a slight chance for an afternoon storm. Better chance for showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. So plan accordingly. Uh, but, Dan, it was a pleasure. Thanks for showing us this. Thank you very much. Appreciate very, very you all cool. coming out. And if you're out there, you know, come on out and see what the folks are doing yes. out here. It's a good time. It's all weekend. Jasmine, we'll send it back and send to you. All right, very good. And if. Oh, let's get <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Get back to cleaning that gun <laughs> now! Just a ticket. <laughs> oh, right no, now. thank you. <laughs> I'm not coming out. No, I'm kidding. CBS 21 Celebrating Central PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson.
It has been 160 years since the Battle of Gettysburg and all weekend they're having events and reenactments to show Pennsylvania's past. We're celebrating tonight. We're celebrating Central PA. We're celebrating what makes us proudly Pennsylvanian. Tom Russell's live in Gettysburg. Mark in the milestone. It is fascinating today. You know, the reenactment happened about four o'clock since then. They've uh, removed all the artillery from the battlefield. So now I'm kind of getting a behind the scenes look just meeting Larry here. Larry was going over what he does. Blacksmith by trade. Is that right? Yes, actually, I'm a, a true blacksmith. I make nails, chains, hooks, hinges, garden tools, kitchen utensils, basic tools and hard work. And you're authentic to the court. You were just showing me something cool. Oh, yeah, what well, is that one? A, a, a man never goes out completely unarmed. That was in your boot. Well, yeah, it's my boot gun. Is that a real piece of history? Yes, that is a real piece of history. This is from the 1800s. That it is, is cool. a double barrel over under 45 caliber. Awesome. All right, now you were telling me that you were helping uh, Dan, who we met earlier, with this setup. We called it gin. Did I say that right? Correct, gin. Uh, this is a, a, a field piece apparatus that would be used to lift the barrel off the cannon so we could do maintenance on the gun, okay? And you can also lift up and change wheels off of, say, the limber, which is over there. But you would build it on the battlefield. Build you'd it take right on the a battlefield. a tree, use the wood, yeah. and then a few pieces of iron to put it together. Basically, this is a real simple, easy way of saying it. Private, I need four poles, 18 feet long, about this big in diameter, go get them. <laughs> he sounds big and burly, but let me show you who's in charge over here real quick. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Christy. All right, she, she warned me about him when I first walked up. All right, tell us about your camp. This would be kind of typical of the time period. Well, actually, it'd be typical of the, the group. Um, I portray a laundress, so I do the laundry. I would have my letter from the Sanitation Commission, and so I have my different varieties of doing laundry. I also am the mess sergeant. So you're and, cooking? And the cook. Um, Let's walk over here because I, I smell something good. There's bread in this one, but over on... Come here, come here, come here. Show me what you cooked. I heard apple pie. Is that right? I, I made a peach cobbler. Oh, a peach cobbler right here. So here's the peach cobbler. Did you make that out here? I made those out here, yes, sir. How much harder is it out here without all the fancy stuff you have at home? It, it, it doesn't because this is what I do at home. <laughs> Really? It comes to you naturally. Right? Um, it's a pie crust that you make a normal pie crust and then the crumble, which you make a crumble. In. Yeah, but you can't run out to the grocery store and get what you need. Well, I came prepared with <laughs> oh, my did. flour, my lard, and my butter, so All you right. have everything you need. We're going to pan around here. What am I looking at? This would be a typical it's a, table? This would be just our table, and we. Um, this is our common area between the tents. Because I'm the mess sergeant, I right. keep all my supplies in one tent, and our room is in another. And you're sleeping in there? And we're sleeping in Are here. Are you staying the weekend? We're staying the weekend. We'll That's be here. Awesome. We'll, we'll Fascinating. Camp. All right, I got to do the weather here real quick. A nice cool breeze, right? It's a wonderful breeze. All right, I want to take you back to 1863, Gettysburg weather. Day one, it was cloudy and 76. Day two, warmed up into the low 80s, 81 degrees. And by the time uh, the third day came, pickets charged, two in the afternoon, we were dealing with 87 degrees. It was a hot one. Let's go ahead and talk about your uh, pollen count. We've been showing that uh, through the afternoon as we've been seeing the grass has finally grown again. It's been so dry here. So, Grass, is, uh, grass pollen is on the rise. The smoke clearing out this weekend, too. That's the big story. So between the smoke and a little bit of rain, it's improving as far as the uh, sky cover goes. Let's talk about the uh, radar. We've had a couple of passing showers, but that was about 3, maybe 5 o'clock at, uh, at the latest. And uh, since then, it's been very, very pleasant here in Gettysburg. Next weather maker will bring a couple of showers tomorrow afternoon and then a better chance of storms as we get into uh, Sunday. Showers and thunderstorms also a CBS. 21 weather watch day. Warm and humid tonight. Overnight lows will be in the upper 60s, right around 70. Here's your seven-day forecast, 86 tomorrow with just a few stray showers. Better chance of rain as we get into the second half of the weekend. And get ready for a heat wave next week. Once we hit the 4th of July, we're talking 90s as we spread through next week. It's going to be hot and steamy. Thank you so much for showing me your camp. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've met the nicest folks here today. It really has been a fascinating week. And uh, it's going to continue all weekend. So you have a chance for uh, to come out and bring the family and enjoy the uh, reenactments here at Gettysburg. That's where we're live tonight. Jasmine, back inside of you. CBS 21 Celebrating Central PA is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. All right, let's take one last live look tonight in Gettysburg as we continue to celebrate Central PA all summer long. You know, there's so many events happening there this weekend to celebrate the 160th anniversary of the battle. 
thousands of reenactors are in Adams County for this three-day encampment. They have it daily, so they have the artillery, the cavalry, shooting demonstrations, battle reenactments. Good stuff. All right, that's it for CBS 21 News at 6. I'll see you guys at 10 and 11.